Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for watching this. Let's listen to Elon Musk on Twitter, the recent uh, acquiring of Twitter, planning to acquire Twitter. Listen to Elon Musk on Twitter. <coughs> so, Elon, um, a few hours ago, you oh, made, made an, an offer, offer to, to buy, buy Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> Little bird tweeted in my ear or something, I don't know. By the way, have you seen the movie Ted about the bear? I, I, I have, I it's have. It's a good movie. Don't <laughs> mention that here. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, yeah, so, uh, was there a question? <laughs> why, why, why make that offer? Oh, so, um, well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for free speech, uh, where all, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, Twitter has become kind of the de facto town square, um, so uh, it, it, it's just really important that people have the, both the, uh, the reality and the perception uh, that they are able to speak freely within the bounds of the law. Um, and, you know, so one of the things that I believe Twitter should do is open source the algorithm um, and make any changes uh, to people's tweets, you know, if they're emphasized or de-emphasized, uh, that action should be made apparent so you can, anyone can see that that action has been taken. So there's, there's no sort of behind the scenes um, manipulation, either algorithmically or manually. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Last week when we spoke, Elon, um, I asked you whether you were thinking of taking over. You said, no way. You said, I, I do not want to own Twitter. It is a recipe for misery. <laughs> everyone will blame me for everything. What on earth changed? No, I think, I think everyone will still blame me for everything. <laughs> yeah. If, it, something, if, if, if I acquire Twitter and something goes wrong, it's my fault, 100%. <laughs> I, I think there will be quite a few errors, uh, yes. Um, it will, it but, will be miserable, but you still want to do it. Why? I mean, I hope it's not too miserable, uh, but um, I, I, I just think it's important to the fun... Like, uh, it's, it, it's important to the fun function of democracy. Um, it's important to the function of... Uh, the United States uh, as, as a free country and on many other countries and to help actually to help freedom in the world uh, so, more broadly than the US. Um, so I like that, so, Elon Musk. I, I think it's, uh, it, it's a, you know, I think there's, there's the, the risk, civilizational risk uh, is decreased if Twitter, the, the more we can increase the trust of Twitter as a public platform and so I, I do think this will be somewhat painful, and I'm not sure that I will actually be able to, to acquire it. Um, and I should also say, the, the intent is, is to uh, r retain as many shareholders as is allowed by the law in a private company, which I think is around 2,000 or so. So we'll, it's, it's not like, a, a, it's definitely not, not from the standpoint of let me figure out how to monopolize or maximize my ownership of Twitter, uh, but we'll try to bring along as many shoulders as, we, right. as we're allowed to. You um, don't necessarily want to pay out 40 or whatever it is, billion dollars in cash. You'd, you'd like them to come, come with you in, in, in the yeah, new Yeah, but it's, it's, I mean, I mean, I could technically afford it. Um, <laughs> I, I heard that, I heard that. Um, but, 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 it's, but what I'm saying is this is, this is, this is, a, this is not a, a, a way to sort of make money, you know. I think this is, it's just that I think this is, um, this could, uh, my, my strong intuitive sense is that uh, having a public platform that is maximally trusted um, and, 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 and broadly inclusive um, is extremely important to the future of civilization. But um, you've, you've described I, yourself. I, I don't care about the economics at all. You'd, okay, that's, that's core cool to hear. You, it, this is not about the economics. It, it's for the, the, the moral good that you think it will achieve. You're, you've described yourself, Elon, as a free speech absolutist. But... You listen to what he says. It, it is not about economics, but the moral good that will do to humanity. He wants Twitter to be a free speech platform where people can say their mind without being shown for, without being banned for. There are a lot of people that have been banned from Twitter just from, for speaking out. You know, it is... Take, for example... 
a lot of people that have been banned on Twitter just for speaking or just for saying their mind on things, you know. Instead for like uh, suspending them, they just like ban them right away. So him owning Twitter will give Twitter free speech uh, a, a platform and not just for economics or not just to make profits or, be, or to be profitable. Does that mean that there's literally nothing that people can't say and it's okay? Well, I, I, I think uh, obviously uh, Twitter or any forum is bound by the laws of the country that it operates in. Um, so to, obviously there, there are some limitations on free speech uh, in, in the US and, and of course uh, Twitter would have to abide by those uh, Right. Rules. So, so, so you can't incite people to violence, like the, yeah. the, the, the like a, di a direct incitement to violence. You know, you can't do the equivalent of crying fire in a in a movie theater, for example. No, that would be a crime. Yeah. <laughs> right. I pretty, it should be a crime. But, but here's here's the challenge: is is that it's it's such a nuanced difference between different things. So, there's <clears throat> there's incitement to violence. Yeah. That's a no if it's illegal. Um, there's hate speech, which some forms of hate speech are fine. You know, I hate spinach. Um, I mean, if it's uh, sautéed in a, you know, cream sauce, it can be quite nice. But, so, so, <laughs> but, the, but the problem is, so, 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 so let's say someone says, okay, here's one tweet, I hate politician X. Yeah. Next tweet is, I wish politin politician X wasn't alive as we, some of us have said about Putin right now, for example. So that's legitimate speech. Another tweet is, I wish politician X wasn't alive with a picture of their head with a gun sight o over it. Or that plus their address. I mean, at some point, someone has to make a decision as to which of those is not okay. Can an algorithm do that? Or surely you need human judgment at some point? No, I think, the, like I said, we, we, we're, in, in my view, uh, Twitter should um, match the laws of the, of the country of, and, and, and really, you know, that, that, there's an obligation to, to do that. Um, uh, but going beyond, going beyond that um, and having it be unclear who's making what changes to, who, to, to where, uh, having tweets sort of mysteriously be promoted and demoted with no insight into what's going on, uh, having a black box algorithm uh, promote some things and other, not, not other things, I think this can be quite dangerous. So, um, so, so the idea of opening the algorithm is, is a huge deal, yeah, and I think many yeah. people would, would welcome that, of, of understanding exactly how it's making. An open source algorithm would be really nice, but one thing to it on if you have an open source algorithm, there are a lot of competitors, like the new Donald Trump platform, what is that name again, what is platform, the Truth Social. There are also another one called Gap too. They can copy the algorithm too and use it on the platform too, don't you think so? The decision. And, and crit critique it. And critique like, 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 I mean, it. What, what I mean is like, like I think like the, the code should be on GitHub, you know? So then, uh, and, and so people can look through it and say like, uh, I see a problem here. I don't, I don't agree with this. Um, they can highlight issues, right. um, suggest changes, in, in the same way that you sort of update Linux or, or Signal or something like that, you know? But as, as um, I understand it, at, yeah. like at, at some point right now, the, what the algorithm would do is it would look at, for example, how many people have flagged a tweet as obnoxious. Um, and then at some point a human has to look at it and make, make a decision as okay. to does this cross the line or not. That, that the algorithm itself can't, I don't think yet, um, tell the difference between legal and okay and, and, and definitely obnoxious. And so the, the question is, which humans, you know, make, make that call? I mean, do you have, do you have a picture of, of that? Right now, Twitter and Facebook and others, you know, they've hired thousands of people to try to help make wise decisions. And the trouble is that no one can agree on, on what is wise. How do you solve that? Well, I, I, I think we, we would want to err on this. If, if in doubt, uh, let, let, let the speech, let, let it exist. Uh, it would have, you know, if, if it's a, you know, a, a gray area, I would say let, let, the, let the tweet exist. Um, but obviously, you, you know, in, in a case where there's perhaps uh, a lot of controversy uh, that you would not want to necessarily promote that tweet, if, uh, you know. So the, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying this is, that I have all the answers here. Um, but 
I, I, I do think that we want to be just very reluctant to delete things and, and have um, just just be very cautious with 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 per permanent bans. Uh, you know, t timeouts I think are better uh, than, than than sort of permanent bans. And um, uh, but just just in general, like I said. How, how it won't be perfect, but I think we want it to really uh, have, like I said, the perception and reality that speech is as free as reasonably possible. And a good sign as to whether so there is free speech is, uh, is, is someone you don't like allowed to say something you don't like? And if that is the case, then we have free speech. And it's, it's damn annoying when someone you don't like says something you don't like. That is a sign of a healthy, functioning, uh, free speech situation. So, I, th I think many people would agree with that. And looking at the reaction online, many people are excited let's, let's, by... Let's, let's listen to... Just, just be very cautious with, with, with per permanent bans. Uh, you know, t timeouts, I think, are better or, uh, than, than, than sort of permanent bans. And, yeah, um, I agree with you, Elon Musk. Timeouts are better uh, than but just, bans. just in general, like I said, uh, how, how it won't be perfect, but I think we want it to really uh, have, like I said, the perception and reality that speech is as free as reasonably possible. And a good sign as to whether so there is free speech is, uh, is, is someone you don't like allowed to say something you don't like. And if that is the case, then we have free speech. And it's, it's <laughs> damn annoying when someone you don't like says something you don't like. That is a sign of a healthy, functioning, uh, free speech situation. Is, is someone you don't like a lot to say so, something or like that? I think many, many people would agree with that. And looking at the reaction online, many people are excited by you coming in and the changes you're proposing. Some others are, are absolutely horrified. Here's how they would see it. They would say, wait a sec, we agree that, that Twitter is an incredibly important town square. It is, a, it is you know, where the world exchanges opinion about life and death matters. How on earth could it be owned by the world's richest person? That can't be right. So how, how do you, I mean, what's the response there? Is there any way that you can distance yourself from the actual decision-making that matters on content at, 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 in some very clear way that is convincing to people? Well, like I said, I think the, it's, it's very important that, that like the, the, the algorithm be open sourced and that any manual uh, adjustments be uh, identified like so if this tweet if somebody did something to a tweet it's y there's information attached to it that this that action was taken and I I, 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 I won't personally be uh, you know in there editing tweets um, so, uh, but but you'll know if, if something was done to, to promote demote or otherwise uh, affect uh, a, a tweet um, you know as for media sort of ownership. I mean, you've got, you know, um, Mark Zuckerberg owning Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp, um, and with an, a share ownership structure that will uh, have Mark Zuckerberg the 14th still uh, controlling those uh, entities. Mm. Um, so, um, like, literally. Um, <laughs> Well, certainly the, we the, won't have that at Twitter. The, the, if, if you commit to opening up the algorithm, that, that definitely gives some level of confidence. Um, yes. talk, about, talk about some of the other changes that you proposed. So you, you, the edit button, that's, that's definitely coming, if you, if yes. you have your way. Yes. Yeah. And um, how do you... And, 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 and also, let me, let me pause this thing a little bit. And also, the most, I just saw on Twitter... Uh, Twitter uh, the Twitter, Twitter page where they have the edit button coming soon, so they're currently testing that in a couple of countries and uh, series too. So that'll be available on Twitter. I mean, I, I think, I mean, one, frankly, um, the a top priority I have, I would have, is is eliminating the the spam and, and scam bots um, and the bot armies that are on Twitter. Um, <laughs> You know, I think I think these these fun influence the they're not, they're, they 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 make the product much worse. <laughs> um, if I if, you know, if I had a Dogecoin for every crypto scam I saw. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we have more, you know, 100 billion dollars going. So. <laughs> do, do you regret sparking the sort of storm of excitement over Doge and, you know, where, where it's gone? Or I mean, I think Doge is fun and, you know, I've always said don't bet the farm on Dogecoin, uh, FYI. Right. You know. <laughs> but uh, but I, I, think, I think it's, it's, I like dogs and I like memes and uh, it's got both of those. And, <laughs> but just uh, on the on the edit button, how how do you get around the problem of so someone tweets Elon rocks and it's tweeted by two million people, um, and um, and then then after that they edit it. So I'm Elon sucks, and um, and then all those retweets, they're all embarrassed. And how, how do you, how do you avoid that type of changing of meaning so that retweeters are exploited? Well, I think uh, you know you'd, you'd, you'd only have the edit capability for a short period of time, and probably the thing to do at, upon the edit would be to zero out uh, all retweets and favorites. Okay. Um, uh, I'm open to ideas, though. You know. So that in one way, the uh, algorithm works kind of well for you right now. I just I wanted to show you this. This is so. This is a typical tweet of, of, of mine, kind of lame and wordy and whatever, and look at, and the amazing response it gets is this, oh my God, 97 likes. Um, and then I tried another one, um, and uh, <laughs> 29,000 likes. So the algorithm at least seems to be at the moment, you know, if Elon Musk expand to the world immediately. Um, I, I, not bad, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I guess so. I mean, this is good, cool. I mean, you, but, but you've... So, so help, help us understand how, how it is you've built this incredible um, following on Twitter yourself when, I mean, some of the people who, who love you the most look at some of what you tweet and they, they, it, they think it's somewhere between um, embarrassing and crazy. Some of it's amazing. I mean, it and is a little... It. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 it's is that is that actually why it's worked or why 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 has it worked? I mean I don't know I mean I, I I'm you know tweeting more or less stream of consciousness you know it's not like let me think about some grand plan about my Twitter or whatever you know I'm like literally you know, on the toilet or something I'm like oh this is funny and then tweet that out you know <laughs> that's that's that, that that's like most of them <laughs> you know. Oversharing. Oversharing. <laughs> uh, but, um, but you are obsessed with getting the most out of every minute of your day, and so why yeah, not? You know. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know, I just, just, just like, try to tweet out like, things that are interesting or funny, or, you know, and then people seem to like it. So if, if you are unsuccessful, actually, let me, before I ask that, let me ask this. I, in fact, I don't, yeah, so how can I say, is uh, funding secured? I, I have sufficient uh, assets to complete the, uh, <laughs> it's not a forward-looking statement, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, I, have, I mean, I can do it if possible. Right. Um, so, um, and, um, I mean, I should say, actually, Wait, even yeah. in the, in, in, originally, the, the, uh, with, the, with Tesla back in the day, funding was actually secured. I want to be clear about that. Um, in fact, this may be a good opportunity to, to, to clarify that. Um, if funding was indeed secured, um, and uh, I should say, like, why, why do I do not have respect for the SEC in that situation? And I don't mean to um, blame everyone at the SEC, but certainly the San Francisco office. Um, it's because the SEC uh, knew that funding was secured, um, but they pursued the, uh, an active public investigation nonetheless. At the time, tw uh, Tesla was in a precarious financial situation, and I was told by the banks that if I did not agree to settle with the SEC, that they would, the banks would cease providing working capital and Tesla would go bankrupt immediately. So that's like having a gun to your child's head. Uh, so I was forced to concede to the SEC unlawfully, those bastards, um, <laughs> and and, and now they, 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 it, it makes it look like I lied when I did not, in fact, lie. I was, I was forced to admit that I lied for, to save Tesla's life, and that's the only reason. Given what's actually happened. That is good, though. I never heard, of, I've never heard about that, though. I never knew Elon Musk had some issues. Because I remember back in the time where like, Pony was not secure for Tesla. 
This is like two eight two eight two eight nine ten like that. I remember the phone it was not secure, secure for Tesla. Yeah, it's really it's really awesome. Right? Thanks everyone for watching, listening to this great insight. And let me reiterate that again. He talked about having Tesla, having uh, Twitter as a free speech platform, and and having where whereby somebody you don't like can say something you don't like without you being offended about it and having it as a free speech a free speech platform not for economic purpose not to generate profit but just for a free, free uh, speech uh, uh, a free speech platform and also making sure that it, its algorithm codes are open source and up, uh, uploaded on github so that other developers can take a look at it and also can make corrections corrections to it so yeah thanks everyone for watching